Um, this was a time in my life when, um, after I got married, my wife, I hadn't been to church in decades, and my wife was a churchgoer, so I started going to church. And I heard a sermon, and I became friends with the pastor, actually real friends. And uh, we used to hang out together, and he used to go to, we used to go to theater together, and we had a lot of very lively discussions. And he said to me one time, he says, you know, I see you as a guy standing on a cliff, and you just don't have whatever it takes to take that leap across. He says, but you want to. And then that called up for me Kierkegaard and the leap of faith and that whole philosophical thing. And um, he pointed out to me in, in the New Testament, Hebrews, I believe it's Hebrews 11, uh, defines what faith is, that it's things wished for or things hoped for in some translations that faith is not knowledge. And in this, this is a play about knowledge and faith. And they get confused. And when people demand to know for sure before they leap, they have no possibility of faith because anybody can have faith. You don't have to be educated to have faith. In fact, the more educated you are, probably the less faith you will have. But this is a, so the play for me is a metaphor about all faith and all things. It doesn't have to necessarily be religious faith. But once doubt enters the picture, then she's not able to do it. It was done so very well by these actors. Um, it was a very poignant moment when she said, I can't now. Right. The idea that knowledge can paralyze. <clears throat> yeah. Because it's, it, it does 